So thank you and good morning uh, for all of you. Uh, thank you for Mr. Donfry to invite me to this, uh, this nice meeting, uh, an interesting meeting. Uh, I will speak about South Caucasus. It's a very, very interesting uh, region in the world that I don't know before, and um, it's uh, very, uh, I, I we will speak about it, and it's very interesting. So English is not my first language, we'll, <laughs> you hear it, and uh, I hope uh, you will uh, excuse my foot in English. Well, um, uh, I have, uh, well, I am a uh, uh, woman of peace, and, um, of course, there is a reason for that. And the reason is because I make actions in South Caucasus and it's peace actions. And uh, I will speak about uh, two colloquium that I organized at the Belgium Senate uh, in um, 2010 and 2012. And I will speak about a new project. And uh, this new project is very interesting. It's about space. So, um, the goal of those actions, uh, there are three reasons, three goals. So the first one is to, low, to allow women to become actors of peace, peace processes in South Caucasus, and uh, also a motive force of reconciliation. Uh, the second point is to make Europe uh, the echo of the conflict in South Caucasus, and I will speak about it later, in order to try to inflect the um, radical position in both countries. And three, at my humble level, to uh, prepare popul population to the peace as um, the group of Minsk uh, wish it. Uh, South Caucasus, I don't know if you know the situation of South Caucasus, a lot of, lot of people know the situation of South Caucasus. South Caucasus is um, a neighboring country, uh, a crossroad of East and West, and uh, South Caucasus in, is in the grip of conflict such as Abkhazia, Ossetia, and uh, Nagorno karabakh And uh, the conflict of Nagorno karabakh is really unknown in Europe, not enough, uh, I think. And it's now 20 years that um, the major power of the world, it means uh, United States, Russia, and France, try to find a solution for this conflict. We said frozen conflict, but it's not really a frozen conflict because there are dead people in both countries. And um, until now, no, solu no solution has uh, has been found, has been identified. So um, it's really a pity because um, it's a s really the same region with the same cultural identification and uh, well, the, like usual, the problem is, um, the origin of the problem is politics and it comes from the, um, the um, from Russia. So, um, for, for the time, for, uh, uh, and better of the time of the Soviet. Well, um, first, the two colloquium that I organized in the Belgium Senate in May 2010 um, called An Armenian and an Azerbaijani Women Da to the Dialogue. Well, this first meeting um, is, um, this first meeting gathered two women uh, in order to try and to give them the, the opportunity to speak, only to speak together and, um, and to size the opportunity or the chance to, um, to become each other in their own country um, uh, a peace messenger. This first meeting was really difficult really difficult because you have two women, uh, they speak more about heat than friendless, they are not really friendly, uh, but they agree that we go further and we try to do something together. And so I organized different meetings in Baku, Azerbaijan, in Erevan, in uh, um, Armenia, 
in uh, Belgium, of course, uh, in Tbilisi, because it's impossible to, to have a meeting with Armenian and Azerbaijani, and Azerbaijani in another country than Georgia. So, and we have been also and organized uh, a meeting in um, Switzerland, um, in, in, uh, yes, in Switzerland, in Switzerland, and uh, there we meet the Red Cross, the International Red, Cr Red Cross, and it was a very, very important meeting because in this meeting, they, they ask all the questions to the Red International Red Cross about missing persons, about prisoners, and dead people. And there, they understand that um, all what the government of both countries says, it's uh, only to, to, to make more hate betwe between all the people because all the question of missing person is resolved today. And so this, big, this meeting we have in, 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 uh, in Switzerland was really important because they give trust together. And then those two, those two women, two, two, uh, these two big associations from Armenia, women, women from Armenia and Azerbaijan, they understand the processes of uh, the government, uh, of the war uh, between them, and then uh, they understand that um, they have something to do uh, together. And then I organized a second um, colloquium. It was um, in uh, the Belgium Senate again in 2012. And um, it's, uh, it's called Challenges and Perspective in South Caucasus, Which Roles for Women? Uh, and this um, conference brought uh, together a panel of experts like Bernard Fassier. Bernard Fassier was one of the former uh, vice president of the group of Minsk. Uh, Pierre Apraxin, who, who, who is deputy head of delegation of the Red International Red Cross in Europe. Uh, Pierre uh, Roland Cobia, who, wa who is, was ambassador of the Europe Commission in, um, in Baku. Pierre Philippe Lefort, who was um, the EU special representative uh, for South Caucasus, UN Women, and also a lot of uh, women associations from Armenia, uh, from Azerbaijan, and from Georgia. And of course, with my two big associations, uh, fr friend women, uh, Tensile Rousem Kanli, who is the chairwoman of Azeri Turkish Women, and Rima Arekal uh, Arekalian, who, uh, who is chair of the Council of Relation of Persons Missing in Action. And those, this big, this big uh, colloquium um, has two goals. The first goal is, uh, was, to, was to, um, to use Brussels as, um, as a sounding board to better apprehend the situation in South Caucasus and especially the, the, the nagorno karabakh conflict. And the other goal was this only the, all the time the same, was to sensitive the authorities of the three regions to the necessity to integrate women in the peace processes. So, and then after this meeting, this big meeting, we have really a very good meeting and uh, we decide to set up uh, a platform of coordination uh, of peace by women on the three region. And then the, the, last, pro the last project, the third project, it's space for, spe for, pay for peace in South Caucasus. It's a very interesting project. Well, um, uh, I'm chair of the space uh, working group of the Senate and I was in, in 2013 uh, chair of the European Interparliamentary Space Conference. And say, I said, well, it can be very interesting to, um, to mix those presidencies with South Caucasus and to make something for peace in South Caucasus. And uh, so, of course, when I have an idea, I do it. And so, um, and so we set up this uh, big project, but you have to know that no, uh, uh, it's 20 years that Armenia and Azerbaijan refuse all uh, projects together. They refuse all collaboration. So it's really, really, really difficult. But more it's, more, more it's difficult, more I like to do it, and I, more I try 
to, 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 to success. But you will see it's really not easy. So um, the goal of this project, Space for Peace in South Caucasus, is to bring closer two communities in conflict to um, to prepare, again, at my humble level, population to peace, and to encourage women through a scientific approach to overcome the hostility we spread in both countries. And space is our leverage, is, is our lever. And you have to know that space is our future. It's the future of our, of our humanity. We don't speak enough about space. Space, space is, is in um, our daily life. It's a full of service in our daily life. It's uh, weather, weather forecasting. It's uh, internet. It's television. It's uh, telemedicine. We don't speak enough about telemedicine. It's, G it's uh, GPS. It's climate change. It's weather disaster. Mobile finance, it's, it's so, ma so, so many, uh, all the, every time you use, uh, you use space. But uh, to develop those services uh, and go further for in the space sector, we, know, we need young scientists. Uh, because today there is a gap between, um, the ev between uh, people who are working in the space sector, the average age is high, and we don't have enough in Europe and in the uh, United States, we don't have enough young people interested by uh, scientific careers and, um, and space uh, careers. So we need, we need chemistry, we need physics, we need medicine, uh, doctors, we need geographers, we need uh, lawyers, we, know we need uh, web designers, commercial people. We need a lot of different um, uh, young students interested in uh, the, this, um, this skill. And so, the project, what I would like to, um, to launch in South Caucasus, is dedicated to two women, so one Armenian, one Azerbaijan, with scientific, with skill in space, and it will be nice if they have a link with the Nargoro Karabakh, the place of the conflict. They will work together because it's, it's, it's impossible for them to work together. So we will make, make, we, we will make them working with two young scientific uh, Belgian women, one from the north, one from the south, because we are also a difficult country. And we have our, um, our um, um, astronaut, Dirk Fremout, who agreed to be our scientific referent and uh, he will fix the tema, and um, and uh, we the project is um, has different fa phases. So the first one is to have a meeting in Brussels, and uh, to define exactly the project, the ten that we want to work on it. And uh, second, we will have a meeting in Tbilisi, and third, after one year. Uh, they will present the work that they have made together, the fourth university women, uh, scientific women, in the, par the Belgian parliament. And then we, we will send them to Kourou in, um, in, um, in, in, in Guyana to attend for a launch at, of a satellite. So it's a wonderful project. We have the support of the Belgian diplomacy, the scientific uh, uh, policy of Belgium, and we have also the support of the European Space Agency. So, uh, so it's very, it's, it's very interesting and very uh, important. So the project has two. This project, this last project, has two originalities. Well, first, it's to help in a conflict zone young scientist women to accept dialogue and work together. It's not easy, I can tell you. Uh, and second, to demonstrate that the space sector is one of the sector of the future. And it will be, if we succeed, it will be the first time that space can be used uh, to something else that te than technology, to be used for peace. And I can tell you also that uh, the older, not all, but a lot of people from the space sector are very interesting by, by this uh, project because uh, uh, 
because they like that space can be used for something, old, something else than technology. So this is the project, but nothing simple in South Caucasus. And just I, I gone back uh, two, three months ago, one month ago from uh, Azerbaijan, two, two months ago from Armenia. Armenia agree, is agree with the project, accept the project, it's, it's exciting with the project. You have to know that uh, the young scientist um, from Armenia is a very high level. It's, you have young ladies who are, who are very interesting and very exciting with this project. And in Azerbaijan, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, uh, they don't accept the project like this because now there is a big tension between the two countries for the moment. Uh, well, one of the reasons is uh, Ukraine, uh, and uh, the tension is very, very high. So diplomacy needs time to be soft, to be, to, to you, are, you must be able to change your planning. And so um, I decided to change a little bit uh, our project and because I see that it's not possible now to, to, to success in this project because it's very, very, very difficult with uh, Azerbaijan and they don't accept to work, to, 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 to work with, uh, to have collaboration with Armenia. So I decide to make something different, but I would like to go to my goal, but uh, no, I will, um, um, I will invite Armenian girl, scientific Armenian girl and scientific Armenian um, uh, Azerbaijani in Belgium to meet our, our um, astronauts, to meet our uh, Nobel Prize of physics, he's a very interesting man, and to meet also a uh, young scientist from the University of Liège with very, very, um, very um, strong interest in space. And, um, and then I think it's a new way, and I think this project need times. I, I, we have not to push it too strong, otherwise we will, we will not success. So this new option, I think, uh, will make more trust between us. Uh, and I hope, I hope finally we can, uh, we can, um, we can arrive to the objective, to the goal that we have fixed it. And, um, and you know, in South Caucasus, relations are um, going up and down. At the beginning of this year, the relation was good between them. And so they say, okay, both said, okay, with the project. And now with the international tension, well, they are not agree anymore. I'm very, very, um, I have the habit to work with them. So um, I think we have, we, we, we have all to do projects for peace in such a countries because it goes in the good way. And uh, slow, slowly, uh, well, I think we can, we can arrive to something and to, to with, with uh, a lot of trust, I think we can uh, move mountains. Thank you very much. Yes, it's a good question. Well, um, of course, uh, I don't work alone. It's impossible in those countries to work alone. So, but I have to be short, so I don't explain everything. It's a very long story. Um, well, I have really um, very, uh, very uh, good relation with both ambassador Armenia and Azerbaijan, and both help me. And both uh, give me give me um, advertise to to help in my in, in my project and um, and special uh, both and uh, i meet also mr Fouet and uh, mr Fouet uh, give me some ideas more but he says well i am in in, in belgium uh, so i i cannot take any decision from the government mm -hmm. and of course when I was in Azerbaijan last uh, month, mm -hmm. um, I speak with the three ministers, and they said, uh, "Well, um, well, not now with your project. It's 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 not a good time. Uh, you have to change a little, a little bit." So I work with them, but um, <laughs> what I can say, um, I, I think the, the ambassadors here are very open, very, very nice. 
But of course, the government is something else. Uh, I, pe I meet people from the government in Armenia, and I meet people from the government in Azerbaijan, but it's, it, for the moment, it's a little bit more difficult with Azerbaijan. Is it because they have the, the presidency of the um, Council of Europe of presidents? I don't know, but when I was in Azerbaijan, uh, I cannot tell it here, but I hear there is a, a lot of problem inside and uh, with the Armenian countries. And um, so they tell me we cannot, we, can, we, we cannot go further with this. But of course, it's impossible to say, well, I launch a project, I make it alone. Of course, I work with the, the, the representative, and I, and I will work also with the government. That's the difficulties. If I don't work with the governments, I'm sure it will be, it will go more quickly. But you have to know that in both countries, uh, if they work without the agreement of the government, they can have problems. So I have to work with the government, and I will to work with the government. And I think because they have this presidency of the Council of Europe now, and because they will have the, 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 the World Games um, mm -hmm. the, yes, uh, the next year, mm -hmm. they have to make an effort. They have the block with, uh, with Armenia. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to, to answer uh, like this. Um, I think it's more a question of um, goodwill of both north and so both regions north and so north and south and um, you know the, the 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 origin of the problem in belgium is the difference of uh, the um, the economic development between the north and the south and so the flemish don't want anymore to help and to pay for the south and so that's the reason why we 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 go to give more power to both countries, north and south, and less power to the federal. And um, I think this is uh, one way, one of the way um, that can help Belgium. But it will depend also of the results of the election we will have now. If the um, parties uh, of um, if, if the parties of Barde Weaver has a lot of voice, it will be really difficult, really bit, really difficult. So I think it's a question of goodwill uh, uh, between politicians. And um, we have to, we have really to understand that if we cannot uh, be uh, positive. Well, and uh, look to the future, we can have really big problems in Belgium and we can have only two countries and no federal uh, um, federal government anymore. So this, this, this election are really important for, for, uh, for our country. But it seems that the, um, or did you say that the Les Sondages? Uh, the polls. No, the polls. Uh, they are going good, the good way, but what means polls when a lot of people don't know already for who they will vote? But it's not a question between peoples, between the, the population, the, the relations are good. It's the problem of politicians, and it's a problem of parties, and, and what diplomacy can do? What diplomacy can do? Culture. Culture. Yes, culture, it's all the time good and good in the good way, but... Um, we cross the fingers for, for Sunday.